43, welcome back. We are just three days away now from the start of the second annual Black Golfers Weekend in Prince George's County. This event is all about increasing minority participation in the sport of golf. Randy Ayala joins us from Paint Branch Golf Course in College Park, one of the more accessible courses in the county. And uh, Randy, good morning. This effort is uh, leaving no one out, including the kids. Yeah, yeah. Good morning to you, Allison. It's really, really cool. I talked to someone as young as eight years old for this story who was just incredible uh, at golf. But Black Golfers Weekend in general is just all about introducing minorities to the game of golf, especially at a young age and making sure that they have a seat at the table, too. It's a game that requires patience and persistence. Values that are taught to them within the game of golf uh, translate directly into life, like that honesty, integrity, uh, responsibility, the perseverance, the sportsmanship. Manny Jennings is 10 and already won first place in two different golf tournaments. He started playing at just three years old after his dad introduced him to the game. To build their confidence, self-esteem, and to let them know that and to let them know that you can do anything that you put your mind to. I would watch the pros a lot when I was younger, and I would try to copy their swing. Christian Moten is only eight years old, but already a junior pro on the course. He placed third in national championships and fifth in world. Do you see a lot of kids that look like you? Um, a little bit, yes. Would you like to see more? Yes, I would love to see more. According to the National Golf Foundation, there were five and a half million on course golfers that identified as Asian, Black and Hispanic in 2022. But that's only 22 percent of the overall participant pool. We saw the need. We saw often it was just Christian out there, the only black boy playing amongst his peers. So it was important to us to try to diversify the game of golf. The Motons recently launched For the Culture. It's an initiative to introduce golf to young kids of color. The couple says even if they don't go pro or get scholarships for school, it can help prepare them for the workforce. It's making black and brown children feel comfortable coming to golf courses in order to prepare them for the co corporate world. Golf can play and probably will play an integral part in their development. And a lot of the deals will be done on the golf courses, both public and private. So why is it that more kids of color aren't playing the game? Access is one reason. You got to find a golf course or a driving range and, um, you know, not everybody's going to be able to have access to a, a country club. Will Martindale is the manager of the Paint Branch Golf Complex. It's owned by Prince George's County Department of Parks and Recreation. He says this facility provides access to more than a thousand kids countywide and nearly 90 percent of them are from a minority background. We take pride in being, uh, I think, the most affordable uh, facility inside the Beltway. You know, we really try to be a home to all levels of golfers, all mm -hmm. economic backgrounds. No matter if you practice at a country club or a public course, the golf talent in Prince George's County is on the rise. The future of golf is really bright in this county. All right, so uh, Black Golfers Weekend, the second annual, officially kicks off Thursday and runs through Sunday. I'm going to post all the information, how you can sign up, uh, all the events that they're going to have going on on our website, WUSA9.com. I also spoke to an organizer as well as a Master G from the Sugar Hill Gang uh, Group, uh, back in the day group. He's hosting, they're celebrating 50 years of hip hop as well. It's going to be a really, really big uh, event going on in Prince George's County, so I'll have all the details online. Guys, wait, 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 wait. So cool. uh, M A S, a T E R, a G. -way with a double E. Yeah, that that's, Master G? Yeah, that's that Master G. Yeah, you, she, Randy didn't one. know that I was, a sugar, I was a Sugar Hill Gang person. She didn't know I that. Didn't, now no, she wait, knows. wait. When I, when I met him, I was like, who? Oh, <laughs> no. oh, oh. Totally oh. honest. Oh, my yeah, God. I, I know. Say. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Randy. So much fun. Randy, <laughs> thank you.